Hello, everyone. It's DLCs of Final Fantasy XIV. And see what's changed. See what's new. See what's good. And just all around see what's up. So, for that, we are going to make sure we're all... Yeah, I'm not toys. I'm on Sergeant Tarnas. And I'm going to be doing all the DLCs as a uh, sage. God help me. <laughs> so, let's get this party started. Also, if I do need to change, I do have a tank at the ready, just in case. So, we'll go do that, and then we'll go get started. Okay, so let's get started but first I do want to glamour myself because look at my character she don't look clean she doesn't look sexy I mean these robes look great but she don't look sexy so we'll go go to one of the main cities uh, and I forgot to put that on my wheel uh, we'll put that later so I forget which one I had it on okay there we go uh, We'll go go to New Garden here. And I know I'm saving those tickets for uh, when I really need them. <laughs> um, and there we go. Uh, I'm just going to tell you right now, I will not have all classes on this character. This uh, character will only have my favorite classes, the ones I... Forget what Several adventurers are having difficult sleeves. Okay, we'll do that in a minute. But uh we need to go to uh get to the uh ah, market board. Someone's DC. You got my apologies. Now which one's closer? Under leather. And then we get war. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm going to glam her right now, but I do know I'm just going to put on the sexiest thing I can find. <laughs> that I could get it for uh, 1170, so. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, I really wish someone would do like hand guards. That's why these ones. See, I want something like this, but take away the glove. I would love if someone did something like this, but took away the glove, cut the little hand, cut the hands out. But uh, God, 
I like these kind of like if you took off like the like the top part near the knee and kept the shin guards, I'd be happy with these. Uh, but we're definitely gonna have to go with something else. Uh, wait, I'm, wait, am I stupid? Hold on. Dang it. Now we'll go with glam. It's for glam purposes only, it's not like a land. Reminds me, I need to get some glam presents while I'm here. Why? Because I I forget what it is. So. We'll just go, go. glamour. Boom! Gotta love it. Uh, I don't need a whole bunch, but we'll go get at least twenty. Never, it's never hurt to have at least uh, 20 glam prisms. And I need to also go to the wolf's den because I remember they actually had a pair of sandals that I actually did like. And they were very, very stylish as well. goes to die. Oh, I'm red barring. <laughs> red barring, uh, DC, I mean, to words. Because English is a very, very complicated language. And all those who say it isn't are liars and deceivers. Uh, yeah, you. I don't know if I have marks not, but, uh, that's weapons here. I forget. Okay. Yeah, it was a wolf. Was it a wolf? Oh no, this is all like, I gotta go to the other. Thing real quick, uh, hold up. There we go. Those are the boots. I'm looking for this, like sandals, but I can't remember. Uh, like you got these dress shoes, I'm like, what the heck? Uh, I did not mean to do that, sorry. Uh, I 
attack. Dude, you look like a goat. <laughs> if I was making an Oberon cosplay, this would be what I would get. <laughs> I know, I know I should have done this before I came in. And I'm sorry you having to sit here through my, uh... I can't remember and I feel stupid. There we are. Oh, that's not what we want. Yeah. These are the sandals I was talking about. These are the ones I actually really like. And they died pretty well too, so... Yes. Again. Oh, that's casting. Whoops. Right I look. I'm like, why is it saying that when I can, when I'm a healer? <laughs> Always, that's how you know you're safe or not if you, uh... I, like, see, I like the top, but I don't like the bottom. If you just gave me the option for the top, I'd be okay. Like, you gave me the option for this top and took away the bottom and let me replace it with whatever I wanted, I'd be over the moon. Yes, I said it was cheap. I'm a cheap person when I'm starting a new character. So sue me. Look at all these people. Okay, I promise we're already 14 minutes in and I still have to start. Give me a second and we'll get started. I just need to make sure I'm not like super ratchet. Okay. Oh wait, no, wrong way. Wrong way. I forgot where the... Okay, yeah, this is the drowning ranch. Hey, it's him. Oh my god. Meta knowledge. Don't look. Yeah. I'm so... Glad... Yes, I know how that works.
the game flare out I came from, but... But yeah, uh... Little grandma... Yes. But... These handles stay until I can actually get the actual stuff I like. Okay, so now that we have that, we're gonna go to ground plate one, keeping our head clear. say, wait, you're going to the frozen lands. <laughs> Why the heck are you dressing like you're going to the beach? This is just one of the grounds for now. I just need something because I don't like those robes. I'm not cruel enough to make someone go out into the ice and snow looking like this. That would be heresy on my part. <laughs> I'm looking plate. Uh, we don't have any jewelry, so this is our first one, I guess. It's not best. It's not the. It's not the best I could do. Okay. And now we need to go to number two. Ugh! I forgot how much I hate that. Okay, yeah, I forgot how much I hate that one. Uh. Coming to Isgard. In the end, it is as simple as speaking with a sentry at the gates of judgment. All has been arranged and none will deny you passage. Uh, we only use the uh, when it gets into like the 700s. <laughs> I love account wide mounts. And the fact we can fly in these areas without gate gathering eight rights. <laughs> Today I'm probably not going to do a long time, I'm probably going to do maybe two hours worth. Because I still have to kind of get ready for Destiny's 2 Day 1 Lightfall stuff and all that. Wards of House Fortemps. Ah yes, you may pass. An 
And so they came, at a friend's behest. Heroes once celebrated as saviors of Eorzea, brought low through treachery, their names blackened with royal blood. With memories of the lost and dreams of redemption, with hope yet in their hearts, they came. Shining city on the mount, overlooking the dominion of Curthus. A great and proud nation, devoted to Helone, the Fury, ruled by Thordon VII, Archbishop of the Ishgardian Orthodox Church. The last bastion of the faith her walls ever bristling with the sworn swords and spears of her four high houses. A land that after a thousand years of war had forgotten what it was to be at peace. Through gates long closed, the warrior of light and her companions passed, entering at last a city whose history was written in blood. In the midst of the Dragon Song War they came, three weary travelers whose arrival would set in motion great change. Though none knew then how great. Title drop. It never stops. It's just as good as going through it the first time. Let's go. I don't know what you guys say. Ah, uh, from afar, the spires did not seem so tall. Gar, you must feel tiny. Gods, I feel like a child in a giant castle. Oh, Tatar never changed. Greetings, Mistress Bahamut. <laughs> I swear, I wish our games were, games were in-depth enough to be like, why are you named Bahamut? Because <laughs> it's just like, oh, you're named after the ancient dragon god. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, for uh, for the backstory on this character, I will give it during another time. But for the most part, basically, she was raised by the dragons, and there was time shenanigans. So I'll let you guys think from there. I bid you welcome to its god. My lord humbly requests your presence at his residence in the pillars. If you all will come with me. I just remember I'm gonna to have to retune I'm gonna to have to retune all these eighth rides. Oh my god, this is gonna be fun. Okay, let's do it. You know what we gotta do? Find all the eighth rites, attuned to all of them. Uh. 
I, I just can't get over how it still looks as good as day one. Sounds as good as day one, too. got the pub. Wait, how Oh, wait, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I guess I think I'm stupid. Am I stupid? Or am I stupid? Nope, I'm not stupid. I know I'm supposed to be talking right now, but I'm just taking it all in, and I need to get this aid for right while I'm over here. I know I'm supposed to be doing quests, but I got to... What's it? It was four. There we go. You're stupid because you don't remember certain things, and then you're like, Why do I feel like a god forsaken idiot sometimes? And then you don't remember, Oh, right, that's why. There we go. Button balloon, it's a thing. I like pressing my buttons though. Don't take away from me my option to press buttons. But yeah. If I have to. Oh, I didn't. 
I'm stupid. Uh, if I had to talk about my favorite expansion, it would probably be Saddlebringers, then Stormblood. Not be I do hate Leaf, so I do not like Leaf in the slightest. Like her outfit in the thing, though, but I did not like Leaf. Uh. Like that she's a monk, even though that kind of gives bad reputation to monks. But you take what you can get. You take what you can get, and you don't throw fit. Uh, but yeah. Uh, after that. It would have to be. Heaven's Ford is still up there. It's just, oh my God, this one pulled at my heartstrings so much. It made me cry. It made me feel things for characters. I was just like, oh my God, our best friend is dead, and I'm a healer. And I couldn't do anything to save him. Stop letting me stand there looking like an idiot and let me save my friend. It just hurts so much when it's just like you had to sit there knowing, oh, yeah. Oh, God, that hurts. Lots of fun. The warrior of light and her brave companions walking the streets of Isgard at last. What a glorious sight. I cannot tell you how long I have wait, waited for this day. Allow me to present to you my family home. Four attempts, Mana. I should like nothing more than to sew you around, but everyone is gathered to receive you. Come, my friends. Introductions must be made. Cutscene! I don't remember if this is voice or not, so if it's not voice, I'll voice it if it is. My lord. I have returned with the Scions. I hope your journey was not too taxing. I, Count Edmond de Fortomp, do bid you welcome. As wards of House Fortomp, you shall be afforded every courtesy. My home is your home. My companions and I are deeply honored, Count Fortin. The honor is mine, Master Alfino. Consider it an expression of our gratitude for your service to Ishgard. Forgive me, my lord, but are you not concerned? To accept foreign guests at such a juncture, especially ones with our reputation, do not worry yourself on my account. Tis true that Ishgard's first thought has ever been the war effort, hence the closing of our borders. Yet it is in troubled times most of all that men should seek allies, don't you think? And this is why this guy will always be one of my favorite characters. He's the one who's like, hey, we're in a war and we need help. We've been in this war for a thousand years and ain't getting nothing done. We need to look for outside sources. We need to start outsourcing. <laughs> Granted, my decision will have raised eyebrows in the vault and in the halls of the other high houses. But so long as you continue with your altruistic endeavors, I doubt my honored peers will feel moved to voice their... See... You know it's a squares game when you have to, when you can say this. Is the church evil? Yeah, the church is evil. <laughs> that's so bad. As, that's so bad. But yeah, it's most squares games. It turns out, hey, the church is either evil or a portion of the church is evil. And the people don't know about it. So that's, that's a squares game for you. <laughs> 
The day when the church is not evil in a Squares game is the day I'm going to be like, have a wall. Full glad am I to hear it. Uh, but before you return to your labors, why not take a tour of the city? You would do well, I think, to acquaint yourselves with your new surroundings. After all, you may be here for some time. Did that already? I came prepared. Okay, we'll go talk to people. So this is what the inside of a manor of a high house looks like. To think Lord Hotspot was raised here. So what do you think, to be honest? It's great, isn't it? Dude, if I had a house like this, I don't think, I think I'd be afraid to sit down or anything. Because I'm afraid it's like, holy crap, this is so high class. <laughs> Greeting, Scion, and welcome. We are honored by your presence. They'll be whispering about you soon, if they aren't already. The mysterious guests of House Fortin. Fortin? Or such. Uh... Now? As I said before, my home is your home. After all, you have done... All you have done on our behalf is the least I can offer. Well, Alpha Note, what's the plan? This is all level 50 stuff, so we're going to just pretty much uh, roll right over it and grab this uh, some pieces because money. <laughs> money, 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 money. Though our friends in House Potems have been generous enough to extend us their protection, we must take care not to impose too much on their hospitality. Alright, so, uh, no claws out then. <laughs> it is only proper that we learn about our new home so that we might become more self-efficient. Sufficient, uh. It'll take a while to learn the lay of the land, but learn it we must. Then there, then the markets and taverns will need, all need to know where to stop and where to hear small talk. To receive a tour of the city is indeed in order. I thank you for your counsel, my lord. My companions and I shall, of course, do as you suggest. Very good. Then my manservant shall accompany you. He will be able to answer any questions you might have. Ah! I grow forgetful in my dot age. Dot age. There is something I must give you ere we part. Their documents is in order, I trust. Yes, my lord. Number three, my lord. Those documents identify you as wards of House Fortunes. Given our, that our borders have remained closed for decades, many of my countrymen are unaccustomed to, tre to treating with foreigners. Should anyone happen to question your presence here, it may prove necessary to remind them that you are under the protection of House Fortunes. But let us hope it shall not come to that. Rest assured, that we shall do our utmost to avoid any situation which might compel us to invoke your name. You might, but I'm the warrior of light. Trouble follows me like death follows a guardian destiny too. Cinder, Tataru, the city awaits. 
Let's go. I don't know why I did that weird voice right there. <laughs> uh. As this is your first time in our fair city, pray, permit to show you to the Hope Lawn from whence we may gaze upon the splendor of the Holy Vault. Though all other sights pale in comparison, tis only meant that you see it first. I shall show you around the Jewel Cozier where you may purchase all manner of goods and services before descending to Foundation's Atheron Plaza. If there are no questions, oh yeah, I can just teleport. Uh, we'll go there first. See, it pays off to have my, uh, it paid off to go get these eighth rights already. Alpha, no oh no, I didn't want to talk to him yet. Dang it. <laughs> The Hoplon is named for the bronze great seal borne by our nation's patron deity. Deity. Yeah, I met her in a, another life. In a, another reality? Yeah, let's go with alternate reality. It is the largest plaza in Isgard. The magnificent cathedral to the north, of course. The Holy Vault. The Vault is both Isgard's seat of government and the residence of the Archbishop of Isgard's ortho ortho uh, Orthodox Church. Wor words, I can English. Beg your pardon, the statue to the south are they perchance Thornton's Fane Knights 12? Based off of if I remember right, the Knights 12 are based off of the Round Table and Arthur's Twelve Knights. So yeah, that's a fun little tidbit of knowledge if you didn't already know it. Very good, Master Alphino. They are the fathers of Iskar, the brave knights who joined King Thorin, uh, the first to put down Nighog and found this great nation. Yeah, you mean the ones that killed Nighog's mate? Oh, wait, that's spoiler territory. <laughs> Whoops. Spoilers! Ours is a city rich in history and tradition. There is much you can learn by exploring the pillars. Time permitted, of course. Now then, if you must... If you would follow me to the Jewel Cozier, I shall introduce you to Mistress Alice, our master of the markets. I want someone to call me out on having dragon scales. <laughs> I really wish the game could call people out on their names. It'd be like, why are you named Muhammad? It's just like, no reason. Well, you're clearly not local, though. 
or traveling peddlers. What makes you all... Ah, wards of house footsteps. How very interesting. Count Edmont has granted us leave to remain in Isca for as long as we wish, which may be some time. Accordingly, we have need of sun-dry goods, hence our desire to make your acquaintance. That is, of course, assuming you are content to accept the customs of foreigners, should you be uncomfortable, we... Young sir, we do not discriminate in matters of money. If you have coin to spend, who are we to refuse it? Weapons, armor, account templates, medicine, materials, whatever you desire, it can be found in the Kozia. Our merchants will be more than happy to accommodate you, as you shall soon see. Our next destination is the Athra Plaza in Foundation. If everyone is ready, I trust you have as well. I just teleported here, so yes. Do you ever get a funny, tingly feeling when you attune to the to an eighth right? Or is it just me? No? So it's just me then. Hmm. Who said I don't get that tingly feeling? I get it in my tail every time. Ah, here we have foundations. Aetheret Plaza. If you have yet to attune to the Aetheret, it would be wise to do so now. More money! As for our next destination, mayhap we should decide to go there. What else can be found nearby? The sky still manufacturing stands to the west. There our engineers could see the manufactured weapons for us to use against the dragons. The holy stables where chocobos are trained for war also lie in that direction. To the north and east can be found the Congregation of Knights Most Heavenly, while the, to the south and east, well, tis be best if you avoided that area. And why is that? I fear our knights may not be able to assure your safety in the lowest levels, Master Alphamel. Hold your nose when you pass the room, little lord, a delicate flower like you is not is likely to wilt in our fields. You may misjudge me, sir, for I am no lord, but a humble traveler. Ah, oh, come to see the sights, have ye? 
take a pair down or blow them again at the statues? <laughs> well, if ye have a mind to learn how the better half lives, come and have a drink at the Forgotten Nights. If your nursemaid let ye. My humble apologies, Master Huffno. Pray, pay that drunk loud, no mind. Oh, but I simply must. It would not do to refuse such a heartfelt invitation. Yes, I simply must see this forgotten night for myself. I trust to you see the wisdom in this, Cinder. There are few sources of information more abundant than a bustling local hostelry. Yeah, you, you get more information in a pub than you actually would get going to a library sometimes, which is sad. Not that I expect to hear any news of our missing comrades just yet. Nevertheless, who can say what we might learn of recent events? Then I'm coming too. I forgot they have like uh, actual things for this character. So we'll go go to the jewel real quick and get level seventy uh, healing items, healing accessories. I'm dumb. We don't need an earring, but we do need a necklace. I was the only crit phase one they had, so I'm upset. Boom. My Sage is pretty much ready for anything that this uh, expansion can throw at her.
Hey, I know you two in another lifetime. Find a table that was taken. <laughs> well, you don't have to be mean about it. He doesn't remember me. Oh, wait, that's not another reality. <laughs> hmm, yes. I've got a good feeling about this place. Oh, I forgot. There, this place can be used as an end as well. I'm godforsakenly stupid. May have one dream with me. Nope, nope, I mustn't. Come on, Alphano, take a sip. Take a drink. Get back. Put your feet on the table. I'm kidding. Don't do that. That's rude. I must say, this is rather unusual. Not just one, but a whole party of fresh new faces in my cavern? Well, we be but recently arrived in Isgard and are eager to acquaint ourselves with her more notable establishment, Master Gilbrunt. Just Gilbrunt will do. I'm flattered you think so highly of my establishment. Can't promise you'll live up to your expectations. But if it's decent food and drink you're after, you could do much worse. Judging by the number of customers I see, I suspect your fare is rather more than decent. Speaking of your clientele, I could not help but note a difference between those who frequent the upper and lower floors. Spotted that, did you? I. Up here, you'll find peddlers, porters, off-duty knights, and so forth. Dropping in on the way to or from somewhere else. Regulars may be, but not locals. Folks from the berm, they tend to co conjugate downstairs. <laughs> I went from an uh, Irish accent to something else. <gasps> Where... Where we offer a menu of suited to their taste, cheaper meals, stronger spirits, and all quantity, quality mind. Not the sort of stuff I recommend to yourselves. You speak of the lowest levels, yes. Why do they call them burn, if I may ask? Guz! Thus, the weather be foul, and the burn rolls in thick. It's the poor sods living at the bottom who have to deal with it. I see. And it's not just the weather. When the wyverns broke through the wards and started tearing up the city, it was the burn that got the worst of it while the pillars enjoyed the protection of the high houses and the temple knights. More than a few people are just so about it. Mine, which is why, considering your present company, I recommend you keep your wits about you, if you mean to go below. It's something sharp in your boot, just to be unsure. I shall take your words to heart, sir. Master Alphano, I think it would be best if we return to Fortem's Manor. You go ahead without me. I'm staying for a drink or two. <laughs> Miss Totoru, I'm afraid that is out of the question. My lord, the Count, would never forgive me if I abandoned one of his charges in such a place. These are all a maiden. What are, what are you up to, Totoru? Look around, Alphano. This town is full of people whose business regular takes them beyond the gates of judgment. With friends like that, I could practically live here and wait for the newest gossip to come to me. Indeed, but will you be safe here on your own? Oh, please. Do you know how often I look after the waking sands and the rising stones by myself? If I had a gill for every unwelcome caller I've driven away, I'd be rich beyond my wildest dreams. I'll be fine. Sees an evil abomination hidden in that childlike form. No doubt about that, uh, lady. Knack for fending off. I doubt the lady lacks 
for fending off unwanted advances, but I'll be damned if I'm going to let anyone lay an unwelcome hand on a patron in my establishment. That settles it. Tataru, Cinder, I shall return to the manor for now. Contact me by Link Girl if you require assistance. I will. Oh god. And there they go. Doctor, you'll be okay. Don't you worry, Cinder. If there's any news on our friends, I'll find it. Alright. Did I not? Oh, yeah, I did. We're going to take a five minute break and I'll be right back. And we have returned. Welcome, 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 Mistress Bahamut. That is going to be funny for this entire storyline. I'm going to tell you right now. That's going to be irony. That's irony. Mistress Bahamut. <laughs> so I saw you inside the manor. Tell us that, Master Alphano. Does if God meets with your expectations? That of which I imagine pales in comparison to the reality. I felt the weight of thousands of years of history with every step I took. And when those steps took me past the scars left by the wyverns in foundation, I understood how easily that history could end in tragedy. The attack was devastating. The casualties unspeakable. 
The wyverns did not discriminate. Unarmed men, women, even children were given no quarter. So Amrick has ordered his knight to strengthen our defenses, and each house has been called upon to lend what support it can. There is much to be done, yet alas, able-bodied men and women are in short supply. Mayhap we could be of assistance, my lord. After all, all after all you've done for us, we be we would welcome any opportunity to repay your kindness. That is a most generous offer, Master Alphano. You are guest of my home to whom I have extended my hospitalities without obligation, let, or linen. Nevertheless, Isgar needs are great, is great, and if you are willing to aid our cause, I cannot well refuse. Good. What would you ask of us? From what I have heard, you are an intelligent and persuasive young man. Such qualities may prove most, most useful to us in our efforts to secure provision from foreign sources. Identifying trustworthy suppliers, brokering contracts, and so on. As for you, Mistress Bahamut, I could ask for no one better than a story veteran such as yourself, a woman with the capacity to act swiftly and decisively when needed, to aid Adotol and Emra in their duties. I beg your pardon? I am more than capable of carrying out my duties myself. I need no honored guest assistance. <laughs> now, now, be reasonable, brother. What manner of fool will say no when a famous hero offered to do his work? Hold your tongue. By the fear you two will conduct yourselves with dignity defit befitting your stations, and so Mistress Bahamut the respect she deserves. This is the woman who slew Gaius van Bauza and some half dozen primals besides. She is not here to steal your glory or serve as your errand girl. Even though that's half of the game for me. <laughs> half of the game for our protagonist, our character, errand girl. <laughs> If you can pardon them and their improperty, Mistress Bahamut, I should be much obliged if you would lend my sons a helping hand. Of course. My thanks. Fury willing, they may even learn something from you. This would seem we shall not want for employment over the coming days, though thou wast never in any doubt. Our host, initial reluctance to accept our offer of aid was sorely for appearance sake. In truth, he is glad for this opportunity to put us to work. By granting us patronage, House Fortemps has taken a tremendous risk. Until we demonstrate our worth to Isgard at large, the Count will face considerable opposition from his peers in matters great and small. And so he would have us publicly service Isgard 
while simultaneously keeping his sons in check. This is an arrangement we may benefit from unexpected ways in unexpected ways. My own duties may feasibly bring me into contact with people who know something of our missing comrades. And as you go about helping our two lords with their various responsibilities, you will inevitably make new acquaintances in this guard. May have even few allies? Yes. The more I think on it, the more confident I am that by furthering our goals, their goals, we shall further our own. Yay! Using people to further our own stuff! Oh, they were inside the house. <laughs> so she'll do it now. Um, were they inside the house, or was I just... Okay, yeah, they were inside the house. I forget if they were or not. When a man like Lord Emma is in high spirits, you can be sure that trouble is a sword. So we be off then, old girl. Ah, but where are my manners? Emmanuel de Fortemps, second son of Count Edmond de Fortemps, true born that is. Yes, yes, I know what you're thinking, and you're absolutely right. What ill fortune be to be born second in society where the eldest inherits all? Oh, my brother would never cut me off, tis true. But who can be satisfied subsisting on meager allowance forever overshadowed by his sibling? Not I, old girl, not I. Which is why I need your help to ensure that this business in the sea of clouds goes swimmingly, so that the tales of my great deeds can win me a place in the people's hearts, or better yet, raise me higher in their esteem than Ara, ambitious, I grant you. But then, I do have a legendary idol to do my bidding. <laughs> oh, don't look at me that way. I just, I just. Anyway, we are to aid the good men and women of House Heliant. They have ever been steadfast friends to our house. Though they've fallen on hard times since the calamity, poor Blightus. As for what precisely we've been doing, well, that fun will be... What fun would it be if I told you everything in advance? Just come with me to the airship landing. We'll need to take the airship to Cloud... To airship to Camp Cloudtop. Uh, words.
hopefully my bit rate goes back to green. If not, I'll stop right here. And we'll continue sometime tomorrow. Yeah, we'll go complete this quest and we'll go stop right here. I know I said I'd do a two hour stream, but my bit rate just dropped like severely. And I don't want to suddenly disconnect, so we'll go stop after we complete this quest. Upon an airship conceived within the fecund mind of Sid Garland, renegade prodigy of Garlemald, who had come to call Eorzea home. the heavens, where isles of earth and stone floated as clouds, a frontier the knights of Ishgard had scarce begun to explore. To a fledgling outpost, within the sea of clouds, where careworn scouts ever scanned the skies for winged shadows, she came. Awfully cold up here. I mean, Corthens may not be blessed with the warmest weather in the world, but compared to this, it seems possibly blimey. And of course, our hero is wholly unperturbed. You don't have to maintain that strong, silent persona all the time, you know. I wish I could talk, because then I could slap you across the face and tell you to shut up. <laughs> Never mind. We need to find Lady Annetta. She's in charge of the garrison here. Oh, and when we find her, just follow my lead, yes? Excellent. Oh, we're back in the green. We shall continue until I either get cut off or something. So if we suddenly get cut off, I will continue this the next day, which is... What Thursday? Words, yes, but yes, this is it's doing good so far. Tuning. God. Oh my god! I just remember I got refined all the eighth rights. Ah. Oh my god. When you remember, like, oh, guess what? You gotta find all the eight lights. Give me that heal. <laughs> the good thing about this is I don't have to worry about uh, anything attacking me. <laughs> Mistress Bahamut, welcome. I, Mistress Bahamut, Welcome, I am Sir 
letting it be held <laughs> commander of the forces stationed here at Camp Cloudtop. Strange though it may sound, I've long dreamed of meeting you. I am in your day, you see, and so forever, shall ever remain so. Were it not for you, my younger brother, Franco, would have been executed upon the word of false inquisitor. Alas, a knight must go where duty demands, and thus I have been unable to seek you out. By the grace of Halone, I have been granted an opportunity to thank my brother's savior in person, and to call upon her generous aid besides. Truly, I know not what I have done to deserve this double blessing. Ahem. It's a pleasure to see you again, my lady. And uh, you cut an elegant figure as always. Still clad rose, elegant at home on the battlefield or in a fellow room. Lord Emerald, if it's not too much to ask, I should be grateful if you would allow me to finish speaking Mistress <laughs> Bahamut. Oh! You should have came alone if you wanted to try to flirt. Camp Cloudtop was established to provide early warning of impending Dravanian uh, incursions. The high elevation afforded by the floating isles makes it ideal for this purpose. Naturally, it also makes us ready to target a, a ready target for attack. We are not defenseless, however. The Protector, our largest and most advanced airship, is capable of downing all but the mightiest of dragons. Alas, as you may have noticed, it is currently undergoing repair. What is worse, our efforts have been hampered by the indigenous beast tribe known as the Vanu Vanu, who, with whom we have several skirmishes already. No beastman is the match is a match for a man of Iskar. Bring me a bird man and I'll show him a thing or two. <sighs> I fear much and more may be asked of you in the coming days, Mistress Bahamut. Lady Lynette, Lynette knows all too well what must be done to assume that you, your time spent in Camp Cloudtop is not for nothing. More money! <laughs> True, it's entirely possible that he may learn something from this experience, but if left to his own devices, I think far more likely that he will make a mess of things. Tell him, tell him that I would like him to keep watch for Dravanian outliers. Then, when you have a moment to speak with his manservant in private, Make it clear that it is his responsibility to keep Imran from shirking his duty. Hmm? A request from Lenoriette? Why? Didn't she think to ask me in person? So at least he must be standing here but a few yards away. Oh, never mind. What is it? I'm about to... Mission? Yes, yes, of course. That's why I'm here. I shall do as my lady asks. Ah, Mistress Bahamut, I do not believe I have properly introduced myself. My name is Honorate Rowit, 
and I serve at the pleasure of Lord Abbott. Lady and Lady Lanada would have me accompany Lord Imran on his mission? Ah, I understand completely. I will do my utmost to keep him out of harm's way. <sighs> Were he another house, mayhap I would not feel obligated to go to such one to preserve his safety and dignity. In any case, I appreciate you speaking to him for me. It would seem he actually listens to you, at least more so than others. Or mayhap you are more skilled at this than most. I, I suspect you have had to human your fair share of difficult men before. Oh, let me tell you some stories. If we had time, I'd say pull up a chair, get some alcohol, we'd be here for a minute. <laughs> Lanata is eager to get to more important business. Now that Imara is out of harm's way, we are free to discuss matters of actual importance, such as our struggle with the Vanavana. We first encountered the Vanu several years ago when we had just begun to explore the Sea of Clouds. After exchanging pleasantries and gifts, we received permission to construct a permanent outlook, permanent outlook post. There was peace between our people for half a year, until suddenly, for un reasons unknown, their attitude towards us changed. They began to attack our foreign parties without provocation, forcing us to rely more heavily on supplies flown in from Athens. It's guard. But words are no substitute for first hand experience. Go see Marielle. So you can use your assistance. I really wish I did uh, That's gonna be off video. That's gonna be off stream and off video. Uh that's up there. Mistress Bahamut. Mistress Bahamut, I presume. Lady Lananetta told me you were coming. I hear you faced. You've never faced Lanu before. Well, spend enough time on patrol and you'll sure to come across paths with them eventually. These birdmen are native to the floating isles. I say birdmen, but they're not at all like the. Axel. Laxel. Unless the uh, Laxel mother was a gigas. Here, let me mark several locations on your map. If you discover any Vanu in these areas, kill or drive them away. I'm probably going to kill them with being level 70. So yeah, kill is going to be the only option there. I'll be right back five minutes.
Sorry about that, miss. It was a uh, wrong number. And now, and if you're wondering why I don't have food, uh, unless you want me to eat raw mutton. I'm still wondering what I can do with those choke, silver chokeable feathers. Is this a little bit of cheating because I'm level 70 and they can't attack me? Yes. <laughs> Does this take a little bit of a thought of trying to not fight everything out of the game? Yes. Uh, hold on. Oh. Two side. Oh, he's a three starter. Boom. Oh. I really should put that on this bar. Hold on. Boom. There. I can't wait till I can fly again. Finish with your patrol. Anything to report? Only two groups. Eh, maybe it was too much to hope for a day without a skyless. At least I can take solace in the fact that Halone has blessed us with a mighty ally. And thank you for this couple pieces. An undisciplined unit is a unit ripe for destruction, as so Marielle knows. Accepting your recent classes with the Lano, it can not, it cannot be have escaped your notice that things are here are rather peaceful. To detriment of our garrison's discipline, despite being built as an observation post, we have yet to record a single intrusion by the Horde. That is why, as far as everyone is concerned, Camp, Cal, uh, Camp Cloud Top is a backwater of no significance. 
And of course, the pride of our camp, the vaunted protector, is in a perpetual state of needing repairs. So even were the Holy See to come under Dravanian attack, we would be unable to fly to their aid. Simply put, Mistress Muhammad, this is where Abyssin comes to die. If you have aspirations for advancement, you'll be right at home. However, I would like to think that enthusiasm can be just as contagious as apathy. If you indulge me, I would have you seek out the sentries who stoke their fighting spirits. Psych them up, you might say. That emote on your butt. There it is. Come on. Is it an attack? What should we do? What should we do? You had me fooled there for a moment, old girl. An amusing jest, a bit a uh, tad cruel. Surely you must realize how unsuited I am for monetary, the monotone, Tony, of mere sentry yet still you tempt me with the promise of excitement. No, this won't do. I won't do. This won't do at all. Lady Lanata will give me a grand mission as befits my station. God dang it, I shouldn't have done that. Ye gods, where did you come from? Where did that come from? Fine, if you insist, I will make an effort to be more alert. But really, I fail to see the point. We're hundreds of moms away from the front lines, which is just the way I like it. Thank you very much. Whatever possessed you to do that? I'm awake. I'm awake. Worry not. After the sight you just gave me, I doubt I'll sleep for a fortnight. Don't bring up that hellish game here, boy. Many thanks, Mistress Bahamut. Already I can see a change in our sentry's behavior. Beg your pardon. Lord Eminent said what? <laughs> well, I have no doubt that Lady Lana will do her utmost to oblige him. More money!
Sir Mary feels what might come of Lord Inlaus no found ambition. If Lord Imra is going to demand a more dangerous duty, then I expect Lady Lenanetta will want you to accompany him. I, you might as well speak with her sooner rather than later. There's no use of avoiding the inevitable. Mistress Bahamut, Lord Eminem <laughs> has just informed me that mere sentry duty is beneath him. I understand we have you to thank for his, this epiphany. Well, there's nothing for it but to give him something more demanding, and can I count on you to keep him safe? I'll try to keep him alive. Excellent. We are in constant need of fresh water in camp. Cloud top, as there is no underground water, underground sources we could tap within wells. However, there is a very unique variation variety of crystal we have recently discovered, which may enable us to obtain water through other means. These spring crystals can be found in Bor Sa Saran Saran to the east of here. I would have you and Eminem bring <laughs> one back to us. You may have to contend with the feral bees which populate the lakes, not to mention find new scouts ranging from the nearby settlement. Of course, that all pales in comparison to keeping the young lord entertained, but you have doubtless grown accustomed to that by now. Good luck, and be safe. Lady Nanette told you to tell me about my mission once again? If I didn't know any better, I swear she's avoiding me. Anyway, what is it? Finally! It's about time she entrusted me with a mission of real importance. Right, then, let's go, let's go! But yeah, uh, the story is for Heaven's War was when it, this game really started to pick up and kick off, and it's it has not stopped. That train has not stopped. I don't think this train will ever stop until either Heaven forbid Yoshi P moves on from it, or He decides to move on to his next big Final Fantasy MMO. Final Fantasy, I think we're already on, what, 16? Final Fantasy 17. <laughs> I kid, I kid. So this is the uh, Boris Saran, Saran of Legend and Mary Avanu in sight. How disappointing, I could do with some sport. I know, why don't you and I make a a competition. Boro finds the superior specimen wins. Lorna shall judge our entries on size, purity, and say aesthetic sensibilities. Let us begin at once. Normally I would just fly around. <laughs> 
This water crystal does not appear to exhibit the properties described by Lady Nantanato. You sir, it's good. Inspect another. This water crystal does not appear to exhibit the properties described either. You should ex inspect another. And that's one on the far side. This wall does not appear to exhibit the or crystal does not appear either. God dang it. <laughs> I forget where it w was, like where the actual wall crystal you need to expect. Inspect. Inspect your gadget. Nah, but I forget where it is. This crystal appears to be secreting a steady stream of water. Perhaps it's the spring crystal lady next to this. We got it, boys. Let's go home. We'll do one more mission because it's almost at that two hour mark. So after that, I gotta go do some chores around the house, things. I gotta go be an adult. I gotta go do things instead of playing video games and having fun. I have to be an adult. Nobody likes being an adult. We all want to be kids forever. Ah, Mistress Bahamut. Have you brought your entry for the contest? Yep. My understanding of such things is limited, but can this truly be used to draw moisture from the air like water from a pump? Fascinating. More silver pieces. series of unfortunate events. Lord Emra has been gone for awfully long time. Did you perhaps try and see him while you were searching for your crystal? Even he must realize the dangers of wandering too far in such a place. Mayhap I'm worrying about nothing, but I must ask that you assist me in looking for him, Mistress Bahamut. We shall find him more quickly if we split up. Pray search the southern area for Va as swiftly as you are able, and ren rendezvous with me in the north. Farewell and good luck. But yeah. Still good looking game, still plays great, still it's just everything is so good. Oh, it got grainy a bit. You survey survey the surrounding area for a time but see no sign of Eminem. Eminem, where are you?
Mistress Bahana, Lord Edward, Lord, he's been taken by the Vanu. They had my lord surrounded. A whole gang of them. Please, you must come quickly. Happy music. But it's just like... It's like happy music, but it's just like, oh, guess what? Crap's going down. <laughs> A series of unfortunate events. Yes, we know. I will be level seeing down to level 52, which will make this actually somewhat a little challenging. Hmm. Oh, it went pixelated. It went pixelated. Good. A bit rate says I'm good, but it's like it went pixelated. The Vanu must have taken him to that village. May I have to present to the, their chieftain? I will make haste to the Rose House and tell Lady Lynetta what has happened. Yet, by the time I return with A, it may be already too late. Forgive me for asking, Mistress Bahamut, but should you spy an opportunity to sneak past the sentries and rescue the in my absence, I beg you take it. I know he can be a trifle presumptuous and insensitive and, well, insufferable, but he doesn't deserve this. Consider it done. Netherlands attack! Away with you! Ow! You gave me a paper cut. Stop giving me paper cuts. Yeah, after this mission, I'm going to have to stop, but it's, it's going to trying to get back into the flow of things. Okay, he died.
Phew. That was thoroughly unpleasant. Neverland, sleep away. I got past. <laughs> Warriors of Ganu, let none escape. Okay.
Que lento. Reinforcements. Anger of Honu, chief of mighty Vondo, roils like blackest storm clouds. Vondo. Offer Netherlings to the white. Cloud sea swells and he comes. The white, mighty Bismarck, Lord of the Mists! A flying whale? By the fury, it's a primal! We must away! Bloody typical. All right, we're going in. Aye, aye, aye chief. chief. Gods only know what might have happened had we not been around to save you. No need for thanks. Though, it's not as if you haven't done the same for us a few previous occasions. Alright, more than a few. Tis but a blind chance that brought us together this time. In case you were wondering, Holy Sea has petitioned Ironworks for assistance with the, this creation of theirs, the Protector. Apparently, they just can't seem to get her flying. Anyway, I came to Camp Cloud Trap. Tra Why do I want to keep calling it Cloud Trap? Cloud Trap, uh, oh yeah. Uh. From Borderlands, uh, Cloud Trap. Uh, Cloud Top is to cast an eye over the ship. Only to learn that you had arrived some few days before with an Isgard lording in tow? Small world, I thought. Just as said Lordling's manservice skitters into view, babbling about his master having been captured and you risking all to rescue him, and the rest, as they say, is history. Right. Well, I hate to cut sword art reunion but i'm here on business after all and the boys are already hard at work don't worry old friend we'll speak again soon i promise and 
and that is where we will end it for today. It has been wonderful coming back to streaming. I will be back tomorrow and maybe Friday. And we're going to continue on with this. <laughs> with this. <laughs> going through the DLCs of Final Fantasy XIV. It has been fun. It has been great. But I got to go adult and do things real quick. And so I did me. You've been you, and I bid you adieu. So, till next time, bye! Bye!